Good afternoon, and welcome to the virtual graduation of the Chichester High School Class of 2020. On behalf of the Chichester School Board, we'd like to extend our congratulations to each and every one of you. As so many of you have said, we are Chi Strong, and I would just like you to know how proud we are of all of your accomplishments. Congratulations, the Class of 2020. I'd like to start by congratulating all the graduating seniors for the remarkable job done in pursuit of a diploma. It has been an eventful four years of your lives, and I'm grateful that you have all made it to this point. We all knew this day would come, and for many of you, it is a leeway to the long-anticipated gratification of adulthood. However, I feel it is vital to elaborate on the graduation significance. Graduating high school brings in new changes, ushering in adulthood and responsibility. It is upon you to embrace life and its experiences as you cultivate good ethics and pursue your dreams. It is one of the courses of the milestones of your lives and hence its recognition is essential. Graduation signifies your commitment and pride in hard work. Owning a high school diploma is useful as many opportunities become available. It is also a starting point for further accomplishments. Graduation projects you to your futures, be it in a career, a continuation of education or trade. As you receive your diplomas, we should ponder on the importance of the ceremony. Your hard work and dedication in pursuit of the diploma are not the only components of your success. Your parents, guardians, teachers, school non-teaching staff, the community at large deserve your gratitude. We thank your teachers for sharing their precious time, knowledge, and talent selflessly. Although it was their duty, they went the extra mile to ensure you succeeded. Your teachers were patient enough to explain assignments to you repeatedly and even permitted and offered additional assistance after school. They made a sacrifice when they could have spent time with their families. Your teachers are great, for they even tried their best to make lessons less monotonous and more captivating instead. Your teachers also recognize your potential, even when you could not, and set forth limits so high to challenge you to do better. Let us not forget the non-teaching staff who kept the school clean, serviced your equipment, served us lunch, and kept us safe. Your school counselors, we appreciate their tremendous support emotionally. They have listened and swayed your direction on the right track. They have shown you that no matter the size of the problem, you are capable of handling it and thriving. Throughout the peer pressure and adversities of high school life, they have been there for you, ensuring you did not get lost. Healthy minds make successful endeavors. Achieving a healthy mind is not only through counseling, but also good exercise. We thank your physical education teachers and coaches for enabling you to keep fit, giving you the courage to stay focused in times of adversity, doing your best, whether you lost or won. It was also those experiences that you learned discipline. Your clubs, projects, play advisors also enabled you to strengthen your relationships as classmates and friends and move that promotes professionalism. The principal, the assistant principals, and office staff also played a significant role in your success by ensuring that teachers were supported and comfortable enough to become more productive. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to your parents and guardians for supporting you. They fought with you every morning to ensure you got to school on time. Your parents ensured you were clothed and fed and made you comfortable in every step of the way. They lent you their ears when you complained, helped you with your homework, and attended all your school activities. We have to show gratitude and make the most of what has been provided to us, ensuring the efforts of all those who have supported us are not wasted. The graduation ceremony is all merry at this moment. However, the future is unknown. Life is full of adversities, and every one of us has to face problems at given points of our lives. What lies ahead is not to be taken lightly, since the road will be filled with roadblocks and bumps. At times, we feel like we cannot go on with our backs against the wall. Adversity can make us feel lonely. At times, we should not deter us from pushing us past those obstacles. We are in a wake of a pandemic that is nibbling through the walls of the earth. Yet here we are thriving through the situation. This year's graduation is unique, for it signifies that good can outweigh the bad any day. When we thought we might perhaps have to postpone most of our life's activities, including graduating as the world went on lockdown, a ray of hope dawned on us. The fact that we can still graduate at these crucial times most certainly means that we can overcome what befalls us. Difficulties are part of everything considered worthwhile. Just as we are making most out of everything we have to ensure our lives go on and our dreams pursued, we should also strive to make our futures work in our courses no matter the situation. Giving up should not be an option in our lives. Our dreams are valid and hence we have to work towards achieving them with what we have. In 2008, J.K. Rowling said, you might never fail on the scale I did. 
However, some failure in life is inevitable. It is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived it at all. In which case, you fail by default. Failure is part of life, hence, we should not fear it. Instead, we should use it to our advantage to achieve our desires. The future that seemed like a thousand years to come so long ago is upon you. Four years have passed, and what seemed like a reality in the distance is with you at this moment for the future, begins here and now. The diploma you have obtained today is a form of primary education intended to act as a platform for your future launch. Every one of you here today will tread on separate paths, whether it is college or in the workforce. It does not matter what you do or where you go, you will still face challenges. All of you must meet challenges awaiting you with grace, humility, your heads held high, and open heart and mind. It is crucial not only to get by life, but also excel in whatever you do. Your achievements add up to the world's progress. Your success will put you in a position where you give more than taking, and that is how the whole society will benefit. If every one of you lives to your potential, you are bound to make the world a better place as you pave the way for future generations. The future is in your hands and is your responsibility to ensure that you do not fail. And even if you do, you should always strive to do better. The future of your classmates is in your hands. So let us make society proud and become excellent citizens, children, and future parents. Life is short, and it, hence it's essential to live it as per our wishes as you fulfill your dreams. The world will give us many choices. Let us make wise choices that not only satisfy your desires, but also benefit your society. Steve Jobs said in 2005, remember you're going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You're already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. From his point of view, you should not be your hindrance to success. Sometimes we can yield to our fears and uncertainties, which makes us reluctant to do what needs to be done for the achievement of our life goals. You should cast your doubt aside as you walk into the future. From today onward, make decisions and embark on your journeys with the best interests at heart and mind. You should believe that you can fulfill your objectives. You should be the best you can in the pursuit of happiness and pride, both for your loved ones and all of us. Your heart should remain as one, regardless of where you might be. The pandemic sweeping through the world has forced us to have graduation to remember where we are all distant from each other, but our hearts are one. Let us take a step at a time as we walk into the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. As this year is unlike no other, I would like to write a more personal letter to the class of 2020 rather than provide the typical graduation speech. This year has truly been unprecedented with the closures of schools across the country. Although our halls are empty and our building doors are locked, your Chichester family will never shut you out. It is my sincere hope that this pandemic has taught us, all of us, that Chichester High School is not just about our physical building. A house is a structure, but a home is made up of the people that belong there. Here in our Chai home, we are a family, and family is important. Even as administration and faculty, we are always looking for, at statistics, SAT scores, Keystone scores, and data. But this year has taught us something. It is that lives matter first. This pandemic has forced our country to put aside numbers and focus on human beings and everyone's safety. In this time of quarantine and social distancing, we hope that you still feel close and connected to your peers and the faculty of Chichester High School. Although COVID-19 has physically separated us, the bonds that have developed with your friends, faculty, advisors, coaches, and mentors cannot and will not be broken. Right now, we know you are hurting, feeling robbed of the precious moments of proms, graduation, celebrations, family gatherings, and what it took 12 years to achieve. Sometimes life hands you circumstances that are out of your control. Bernice Johnson Reagan, a culture of voice of freedom and justice said, life challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are. Class of 2020, even though this time is very difficult for you, your families, your educators, and your friends, when you look back on this event in the year 2040, you will be better people for having endured this graduation year. You will have learned resilience and handle what life throws at you. You will have learned the determination to carry on and keep moving forward in the face of adversity. 
You have learned strength to find ways to help yourself and others when life hands you lemons. You will have learned respect for those that have helped you and your family. You have learned no matter what life throws your way, the human connection is always important that Chichester is not just your house, but your home. You will always be welcome here with open arms. We will miss you and we wish you nothing but success and all the joy in life has to offer. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello everyone. My name is Don Morgan. I am very proud to be the assistant principal of Chichester High School and honored to be able to introduce to you today the Chichester High School Class of 2020 Valedictorian. The Chichester High School Valedictorian of the Class of 2020 is Talia Renee Snyder. She is an exemplary student who is academically gifted, excels in athletics, and is dynamic in the school and in our community. In her tenure at Chichester High School, she has completed eight advanced placement courses and has earned a remarkable GPA of 5.0714 at the end of the third market period. As a result of her academic prowess, Talia is a member of the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Rho Kappa Social Studies Honor Society, and Chichester's Enrichment Studies Program. Talia received the American Chemical Society Award for the highest chemistry average. She was also recognized as a Rotary Student of the Month and by the AAUW receiving a STEM Award for girls. Talia has been involved in a variety of extracurricular activities, including the academic team HiQ for three years. Musically talented, she has played the flute in the concert band and volunteer band. She has a special connection to the water, helping coach younger children and becoming lifeguard certified. She was the captain of the high school swim team, as well as the rec swim team for several years. Talia will pursue a degree in environmental engineering at Temple University in the fall. It is my distinct honor to introduce to you your class valedictorian for the class of 2020, Talia Renee Snyder. Good afternoon, esteemed faculty, students, administrators, friends, and family. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to welcome you to Chichester's first and hopefully last virtual graduation. With enormous help from teachers and faculty of the Chichester School District, we have learned the skills, both academic as well as outside of the classroom, necessary to excel in life. When I told my mother I would be graduating first in the class, she turned to me and said, you were such a bomb as a kid, we could have never imagined you'd graduate as valedictorian. It definitely stung considering I asked her for quotes to use in my speech two weeks ago. Together, my parents proofread hundreds of essays and cooked thousands of homemade dinners. They dropped me off at swim practice at 6 a.m. and picked me up after marching band at midnight. It is with their wholehearted support that I am able to stand before you today. More than anyone, my grandmother continues to inspire me to, to suffer through my all-nighters and work hard. In fourth grade, she passed away, and I never really felt like I had the opportunity to make her proud. I always assumed that being first in the class would change how I felt, but now I understand how we impact others in our years to come is far more important than high school rank. With the hundreds of teachers, aides, lunch ladies, Chichester stands with a reputation of motivated and dedicated staff, all of which have impacted and improved our lives in one way or another. It was Ms. Flick, my swim coach and unflinching leader, who encouraged me to complete 12 years on the swim team, earn a lifeguard certification, and have countless memories of the children mercilessly jumping on me during swim lessons. My elementary and middle school teachers went above and beyond to motivate me to find my passions at a time when it felt, felt like I didn't even know myself. In high school, my experiences in Mr. Donnelly's lab, my lunches with Mr. German, and my passionate arguments with Mr. Molyneux encouraged me to be on the front lines of my education and work relentlessly for what I want. It is the unconditional positive regard I receive from Ms. Gallinera and the sarcastic honesty of Mr. Milnes that continues to inspire my plight to receiving a higher education. In our time at Chichester, we have witnessed and overcome great challenges, like the trailers in sixth grade or the bird that always seems to get trapped in the D-wing. Just as the bird continues to valiantly enter our school, we will continue to strive for success, whether it be in our four-year schools, trade schools, military, or workforce. As I pursue my degree at Temple University for environmental engineering, I feel confident in our educational foundation and our personal confidence to succeed. Regardless of years past or degrees earned, 
we can proudly say that we will always be Chichester graduates and part of the Chichester family and community. Good afternoon. My name is Ken Salomon. I'm one of Chichester High School's assistant principals. I'm here today to introduce Chichester High School's salutatorium. Daniel Allen Cole Jr. is Chichester High School's salutatorium for the class of 2020. Daniel is a model student who is academically talented, excels in athletics, and is active in the high school and community. In his tenure at Chichester High School, he has completed nine advanced placement courses and has earned an impressive GPA of 5.0150 at the end of the third marking period. Daniel's success in his academics is evidenced by his acceptance into the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, Roe Kappa Social Studies Honor Society, and Chichester's Enrichment Studies Program. His leadership roles have also qualified him for recognition as Rotary Student of the Month, the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation Leadership Seminar, representative at the Pennsylvania Free Enterprise Week, and acceptance into the Cabrini Leadership Camp. Daniel participated in Debate Club, Diversity Club, Eagle Exchange, Kiss Army, High Q, and the High School Musical. He was treasurer for the Future Business Leaders of America, treasurer for the Interact Club, participant in Helping Hearts Club, and founder of the local Chichester area Hoppin' Poppin' Food Drive. Athletically, Daniel has participated in varsity soccer, varsity swimming, and baseball. Daniel will pursue a degree in finance and economics at the University of Pennsylvania. It is my distinct honor to introduce you, your class salutatorian for the class of 2020, Daniel Allen Cole, Jr. Good afternoon, administration, staff, families, and Chichester class of 2020. As we celebrate one of the most anticipated days of our life, it fills me with relief, joy, and anticipation as we venture down this road and begin a new journey. With the graduation occurring in such an unprecedented manner this year, I extend my gratitude to the administration and school board for having flexibility throughout this entire process. Along with the administration, I would like to thank every single one of my counselors, teachers, coaches, family, and friends who have supported me academically and socially throughout my entire school career. I cannot forget the support from my two most important people in my life. I want to thank my parents for their guidance and sacrifices the past 18 years. They've guided me along the right path and helped me develop into the man I am today. They've taught me to never give up and to always look for the silver linings in life. They prepared me to follow my dreams and remember happiness is achieved when we follow our passions. Four years ago, we all anticipated a single event and now we're reminiscing, grasping for a little bit of time back. Time and its relativity have truly become apparent to me throughout high school and even more now. Do you remember the first day of freshman year? The only worry in your mind was if your teachers were going to like you, how you're going to get to class on time, and if you're going to survive or not. Well, now we all have come a far away from these young anxious thoughts and have developed into intelligent and career-ready young adults. Our experiences, whether it be struggling in AP Chem Labs Mr. Donnelly, or Mr. German even teaching you paragraph watching strategies, and the true essence of writing, have all prepared us for the future. Each and every one of us will go on to use these lessons high school has taught us to grow. I have no doubt in my mind that we will succeed. Our perseverance through trials and tribulations during these four years, and even more the latter part of our senior year, has taught us to see the silver linings that did never give up. Many years from now, we, the class of 2020, will look back on the circumstances imposed from COVID-19 and make a realization that we can fulfill a purpose beyond us, one that will benefit society for the greater good. During these dark times, many members of our class have picked up jobs, adapted to change, and used this time to do good. Every day over the past few months, each and every one of us can say we have accomplished a feat, something that not many else can say. We have persevered through times of a global pandemic. We have finished classes and taken exams. We have filled our days with FaceTime chats and Zoom calls. This is a new norm for us, for now. In light, I've approached the various circumstances from this virus in a positive attitude and hope you've all done the same. Ben Franklin once said, do you love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. In short, this may be one of the last times you'll see some of your friends and classmates, but there's always the last time for everything. So never rush yourself and always do something with a purpose that will fulfill your life with successes beyond tangibility. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I will miss you all, and remember to always keep that 2020 vision. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Valedictorian, Talia Snyder. Salutatorian, Daniel Allen Cole, Jr. Your class officers, Udan Mahados, 
president. Niki Mahados, first vice president. Mackenzie N. Sendek, second vice president. Rosemary Ryback, secretary. Hunter Green Tolan, treasurer. And now your National Honor Society members. Nala Abuwali. Sophia Amafatano. Azia Barnhouse. Ethan Conti. Hope Corrales. Giovanna Cruet. Olivia Esposito. Cameron Flanagan. Justine Herrera. Morgan Keith. William McAvoy. Vinton Passamonti. Marissa Rose Ryback. Socrates Alexander Sanchez. Eric Robert Sawyer. Emily Schreier. Brayon Michael Spanier. Haley Nicole Speed. Mallory Wanner. And now, congratulations to the class of 2020, Eric Aguilar. Zakara Alamara. Yasid Altayib. Rayleigh Argro. Tayana Morales. William Asbury Jr. Christopher Avacoli. Nicholas Andrew Bailey. Arianas Bartoretto. Tierra Baysmore. Nicholas Bean. Joshua Becker. Gianna Lynn Bedwell. Jody Begley. Olivia Bender. Isaac Benson Carter. Nafi Benton. Stephen Bernath. Wally Bivens. Paris Alexander Blackwell. Hunter Bosman. Kamala Bradley. Saeed Bradley. Michael Breslin. Janira Bruton. Dylan Weishrick. James Bryant. Paige Marie Bucci. Tamir Bush Jr. Felicity Cacciatore. Ryan Campbell. Keontae Carney Jarrett. Joshua Chamberlain Carpenter. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Don Morgan, Assistant Principal of Chichester High School. Jalen Cody. Cameron Collins. Janiah Collins. Lauren Cresshine. Matthew Christ. Charlie Dion Colbert. Denzel Curitan Jones. Laasia Curry Freeman. Kiara Davy. Kayla Davis. Nevea Day. Nathaniel Desenzi. Peyton Dempster. Alexandria Desper. Tiana Taimai Din. Rachel Donald. 
Alana, Dooley, Shine, Douglas, Maya, Echevarria, Zakira, Edwards, Zenobia, Edwards, Trey, Ellis, Markeisha, Emmons, Isabella, Esposito, Mark Evans, Jr., Maisha Evans, Emily Farnan, Matthew Feely, Hugo Fida, Nathan Fink, Ryan Franklin, Juliana Fucci, Nathaniel Furlow, Thomas Junta, Logan Greer, Layla Guy, Taylor Guzzi Lauro, Marquise Hales, William Halliger, Armani Hamden, Anasia Handy, Elizabeth Hainer, Tyler Harmon, Ruby Harvey, Zaki Hawkins, Alexa Henry, Sebastian Hubbard, Fatima Hussein, Juliana Eisenhower, Nasir Jeffries, Zaire Jenkins Johnson, Brandon Jessup, Robert Jimenez Jr., Brianna Johnson, Jeremiah Johnson, Colin Jones, Jacob Jones, Kasai Jones, Walter Jones II. And now I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Ken Salamone for more names. Tehran Jordan, Amar Kabaj, John Dylan Cambrugolo, Corylin Khan, Nathaniel Kearney, Jacob Keane, Cameron Keith, Leah Kelly, Callie Kirk, Tearson Knox, Giovanna Koch, Jacob Karkuska, Kimberly Lilly, Madison Sayer, Joshua Long, Tyree Longer, Lester Lopez Oliveras, Ryan Loison, Jaden Maestas, Nathan Morano, Giovanni Martin, Christopher Matera, Dana Matura, Kieran McCluskey, Mason McClure, Michael McClure, Andrea McCullough, Kayla McElwee, Ryan McGillan, Daniel McGoldrick, Benjamin McGriff, Samantha McKnight, Matthew McNeil, Sky Merithew, Jason Messick, Aliyah Milnes Nixon, Youssef Muhammad, Ashlyn Moore, Andrew Moore Jr., Alicia Munoz, Nathan Murray, Trinity Myers Perry, 
Victoria Nathan, Aaliyah Nicholson, Matthew Nixon, Gary Nee, Damian Noble, Ashley Nolan, Angelo Oliver Jr., Hayden Pander, Jerry Parkin, Philip Pelfrey, David Piera, Antonio Perez, Joseph Perry, Lauren Patika, Madison Pettit, Elijah Farr, Aaliyah Poindexter, Frank Pollock. And now lastly, I'd like to introduce Mr. Thomas. Kiera Potts. Kiana Potts. Brandon Powell. Makia Powell. Riley Powers. Micah Rhodes. Frank Rico Bono, Matthew Richardson, Brandon J. Rivera, Manuel Rivera, Amaya Rochester, Treasure Rogers, Anthony Rosario, Amaya Rothwell, Evan D. Rowe, Francis Salvador, Jorge Sanchez, Christopher Santiago, Deja Santiago, Faith Sarnor, Jack Schilling, Maria Schichetti, Taylor Scone, Matthew Sendek, Sean Sherry, Harold Schull, AJ Sigmund Barto, Deshaun Singleton, Andrew J. Smith, Sean Smith. Dante Snowden, Madison Snyder, Colton Sordi, Ayana Sori, Austin Spence, Kylie Stabler, Gavin Storlazzi, Grant Tate. Julian Tate, Keziah Thomas, Jada Thompson, Jordan Tran, Madison Tui, Jamar Q. Turner, Brian Valverde, Daniela Vargas, Christian Verbano, Jaden Viles, Jasmine Vincent, Alan Wallace, Dylan C. Walls, Samantha Waters, Mikeisha Watkins, Hunter Weidman, Davon Williams, Ren Williams, Tamia J. Williams, Trinity Williams, Adriana Willoughby, Brittany Woodall, 
Kylesha Young Bowman. At this time, we'd like to extend our congratulations to the class of 2020. You may now move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations.